I'm kind of doing a reading vlog for let me get my book. I'm reading currently Legendborn by Tracy Dion. This is one of my most anticipated fantasy books. I just haven't gotten around to reading it until recently. I've just been in a fantasy mood. I'm on page 87 already of this, so I have been reading it, but I didn't read it last night because I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a reading vlog and like tell you guys my thoughts and like have fun. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm a little confused in the world building of this because the character Brie, she's a high school student, but she's going to a college for like this special like program or whatever. Like high school students can go to this college to earn college credit, I, I think, I guess. She has like found this like secret society of people from the round the King Arthur's round table and there's like different people that are in this round table but they're like magical honestly I haven't been wanting to read it because I'm confused and I'm already on the second part of this whole book like Brie like tries to think she knows everything so you're in like her perspective so she like tries to tell everybody that she knows what's going on when she has absolutely no idea what's going on and she like meets this guy named Nick because she's been getting in trouble mm, trouble and so she's like convincing Nick to like make her join this like society so she can like learn about her mom but she has absolutely no idea what's going on in the society and she has no idea what this is and so it's really confusing to read about because like I said you're in Bree's perspective and like she acts like she knows what's going on so Nick thinks she knows what's going on but she actually doesn't know what's going on and so the reader also doesn't really know what's going on and you're just like a little confused. I'm gonna get dressed and then we'll start reading Legend Boy. <laughs> Sorry, that's so loud. I like didn't realize how loud that would be. Bless. Oh my gosh, I think this needs to be cleaned. I don't know last time this was cleaned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome for a tutorial. Shut up. I'm just making my matcha. You don't care what I'm doing, how I make it. I use the Mighty Leaf Organic Matcha Green Tea. It's okay, I don't know. I've This is the only one I've used before. It's okay. Hot water, and I put it on the low setting. Sounds like somebody's peeing. Have some creamer. It doesn't really matter unless it's like vanilla. And then I would usually use oat milk too, but they didn't have oat milk, so I just have whole milk. This is they used whole milk at Starbucks. Although sometimes it do be hurting my stomach, but it's whatever. No, open. This is not fair. I need you to open, sweetie. Is this boring? And it's now a foamy, delicious drinkity drink. I gotta put ice cubes in it because I'm not gonna lie, the hot water and then the milk makes it taste like lukewarm milk and it's kind of weird. Honestly, this book is really funny. Like, there's a. At the beginning, I tabbed it because I thought it was really cute. It's Brie and her best friend Alice. I'm just gonna read the scene. I think it's so funny. She fixes me with a glare. I'm insulted by your weak conversational deflection. That's not my best friend behavior. You're fired. I roll my eyes. Your best. Fr you you've best friend fired me. 50 times since we were kids and yet you keep rehiring me, rehiring me. This job sucks. HR is a nightmare. I think that's so funny. I don't know why that's such a funny, like cute best friend moment. And then the scene I'm reading is like, so Nick has rejoined the thing, I guess. This guy named Fitz comes in. He's like, you're joining again? Like, yes, man. And Nick's like, like, yeah, man, like, let's go. And Nick's like, hey, can you give me a, can you give us a second? Like, I need to talk to Brie. And and Fitz is like, yeah, man, not a problem. And he's like, he's like high-fiving him on the way out, like, my man. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that so, that's kind of funny.
this is so cute. Oh! <laughs> this is- this scene's making me so giddy. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <laughs> I love these characters, oh my god. That's so freaking cute, oh my god. Hello everybody, I'm still on Legendborn. I'm on page 217. I'm not gonna lie, I low-key was like not wanting to read this just kind of put it down and read something different because this has been really hard for me to get into it's pretty slow well not slow it's just kind of confusing but finally everything has been explained yes page 135 when william finally tells brie like what the frick this all is really finally i have some more world building aspects and I finally know what's kind of going on. I'm not gonna lie, kind of gives a little cult vibes, but like it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I just read one of the scenes like of Nick and Brie. That they're so freaking cute. Nick is like the cutest little cinnamon roll person in the world. Oh my god, he's so freaking cute. That whole chapter just made me so happy. Almost halfway into the book, I think. I'm in definitely enjoying this book now. Like, I'm getting into it, and now I don't want to, like, stop reading. <laughs> so we, I just found out a very pivotal characteristic about a character. I mean, Brie has gone through with, like, she's gone through, like, the memory walk and she, find out, she finds out about this secret. And I'm like, see, I knew these people were a f cult. <laughs> but I'm to the part where I think Brie's gonna tell Nick what happened and, like, all the things she's found out. And this might cause them to have a fight. I feel like this is gonna have make them fight, but we'll see, so. We just found out why Brie has these certain powers and, and why her mom passed away. Another thing, I'm gonna say this quote because I think this is such a good quote. Her dad comes and visits her at school and he takes her out to breakfast and he's noticing that she's like not acting the same and she's being a little weird. Obviously she is like full of grief. This is the last line he tells her. He says, don't make your life about the loss make it about the love. And I was like, I almost started sobbing again. Like I'm starting to tear up. Like, that's so good. That's so good. I feel like if you were really, if you can relate to Bree's story or if you've had a traumatic loss and you read this, I feel like this would really hit home for you because a lot of the mentionings of loss and grief have hit so hard it's like a knife it hurts but it's like it's so good so if you're going through this trigger warning for grief i'm about to cry because this is like getting me so good this is the part where brie is trying to connect to an ancestor so she's going to ha she's having to like let go of grief and pain and letting it become not become her but be a part of her this is just written so well i'm gonna just read this because it's hitting me really hard um I imagine my wall crumbling to pieces, one brick at a time. I pull down the chains, the metal, the steel. I pull it all away until I can see beyond it to find the, that hard, tight knot of pain in my chest. The one wrapped in layers of bright, unending fury, the part of me I call after Brie. And then I unwind her, one strand for my mother, one for my father, one for me. I unravel the rage until it courses through my veins like fuel in an engine. I let it become a part of me, but not all of me. Hot scorching pain under my skin, under my tongue, under my nails. I let it spread through me until there is no more before and no more after. I am her and she is me. I am losing my mind. That is so good. finished legend worn and that was crazy at the end wow i did not see that coming at all but it makes like but the ending makes so much sense i don't know if this would be 
five stars. Like, I love this book so much. It was really good, but I don't think I'm going to give it five stars. Whoa. The only reason I'm not giving this five stars is because of the beginning. It took me so long to get into this book. I don't know if that's a me problem or if it's a book problem. It could be both. <laughs> like, I felt like it was really hard for me to understand the world building i totally get it now like i don't know like you read 100 pages of like confusion world building confusing world building setup that you don't really understand yet and that's my only complaint i guess about this but besides that i think everything else was done beautifully i think grief and how grief can torment us in our life and how i just love the before brie after brie like how we are before someone dies versus after what happens when they've passed away and what we feel after i loved that part of it and i really love the king arthur retelling sort of the round table retelling i've never read or i've never read any king arthur retelling and this was just so good i'm so excited i'm actually probably going to read the second book like right now because i'm on a high from this book and i want to know what happens Let's start the second book now. <laughs> been reading Bloodmark. this is probably gonna be five stars like this has this book so far has been so good i haven't been wanting to put it down either because it, it just kind of leaves off a little mini cliffhangers or like stuff you just want to keep reading about so i want to keep like reading and keep figuring out what's going to happen but i had to go to bed last night and so i had to take a break so i've made it through to page 214 i'm on chapter 23 i love how we get more aspects of um king arthur and Bree's root craft like and that like ancestry part i get so enraged in this book though like some of the things that happens to Bree, which i know happens it happens in real life obviously and it happens day to day and i will never experience that but just reading about someone's experience like that has literally been so, like, it makes me so angry. <laughs> also, just a very weird thing. This, like, this might be TMI, but I kind of have, like, really sweaty hands. And the, like, I don't like reading with the jacket on, but the black paint or black whatever from the book is, like, staining my fingers. I don't know if you can see that. It was really bad last night, but it's, like, staining my fingers black i don't know so far so good i'm enjoying it i'm gonna keep reading so last night i finished blood marked and oh my god this was so so good had me last night crying crying just screaming it was just it was so good i was getting major anxiety from this book i literally like everything that was happening to brie i'm like can't she get a goddamn break like oh my god like can't she get a break and then when she did get a break and she did have that like two seconds later they get attacked so the ending was like really good like i was not expecting that this was so fun to read i definitely feel like this one i was like yes this is what i wanted from the first book not saying that the first book is bad it's good it's a really good book like i really liked it i think the introduction to the world building could have been explained a little bit better instead of having one character kind of info dump on the main character so therefore you were getting info dumped i kind of wish it was like a little bit different because the way brie tries to get into this society and she doesn't know what's going on she kind of has to like pretend that she knows what's going on but she doesn't and so like characters are coming up to her being like are you this are you that are you this are you that do you know what this is do you know what this is and you're just like no i don't know what it is she doesn't know what it is either stop pretending like she knows what's going on because she don't i'm confused that was my thoughts on legend Four. although this one was really good and ended up really good i think the world building was just a little bit hard for me to get into because i was confused 
but I get it now. Anyways, but I get it. It's still good. It's still a good book. But this baby, this baby sold me. Oh my god, this baby sold me. She said, you will be obsessed. And I am. I'm obsessed with these characters. Like, I just, like, ah, god dang it, I love this book so much. If you can't tell by my reaction, I'm giving this five stars. I finished my books. And so, therefore, the reading vlog is over. Thank you so much for watching this reading vlog, and I will see you.